box shiver ready to be painted now only thing left now is washing it up and cleaning out the shop but i gotta take the mirrors out the shop though i painted those yesterday so let's go in there and check them out here's the mirrors yeah i think it turned out real good we just gonna Sit these outside in the sun, let them cure on up. Then we'll get ready, clean up all this junk I got. I, I do everything up in here, so fiberglass, paint work, everything, motor work. But we finna clean it up, and hopefully our lights come by the time I get through cleaning up, so I can replace. Three lights. I gotta replace this one, that one, and this one up front. Okay, got it cleaned up now you can see on this side I got two lights and one light out and on this side I got one light and two out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these two good ones and put them on this side because the lights that I'm getting today they're different from these here and you can link them together and I think I ordered six so I don't know how they look now but once they get here I figured out though but I was thinking about running from, I don't know, I can't remember how big they was, how long they was, but I'm thinking about running from one end to the other, all six of them. So I'm gonna move these two over here. Okay, I got this side, everything swapped out. This the side I'm missing. The mailman just dropped the box off. The box don't look that big. I'm thinking it's supposed to be six of them, but we're going to see when we open it. Got the lights up. It's all six of them. I had one extra one, so I just put it right here. I think I'm going to order some more because they're pretty cheap. Forty some dollars. You can't beat that. Because these on this side are going to go out eventually. Then I like the way I got it ran from one end to the other. All right, now we're gonna clean this mess up here. All uh, this extra I didn't need that they send you. We're gonna clean this up, bring the car in, get ready to start mask. All right, we're finna get down to business now. Got the car pulled in. It's lit up on this side. I like these lights. Haven't been this lit up since I had the shop set up. 
then we finna get down to business and start masking everything off. I got me some tape and some on my paper. I gotta go get the rest of it. And I need some plastic to put in the panoramic opening. But first, I'm gonna trim everything out with this tape here. Just going around everything that's gonna be masked. I'm gonna back mask this here. trimmed out now I just gotta go back and mass everything up walk around the car show you I'm just gonna go back and put a strip of paper here also along the door keep that overspray out I already did the top Bumper under the hood. Here's my paper. This is a trick here you can do. You can get your one 12 inches, cut it in half. You're safe instead of buying one this size. this side up but I'm gonna take it to the other side and show you how I did the jams here's the trunk I can go ahead and close this here's the jams This is what I hate doing the most, masking. But it gotta be done though. Now I clean up all my strap. Now it's time to wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. I'm gonna wipe it on with one cloth, wipe it off with the other. Wipe down. Now it's time to spray the sealer. The reason why I'm spraying the sealer is a good foundation. Also, you can see the cut throughs, the different tones of paint. Which I'm spraying black and black a cover all that, but a sealer is gonna give it a good foundation. Also, it's gonna be less coats of base I have to spray because I'm spraying a black sealer as well. Let me show you the sealer I'm gonna be spraying. Probably can't see the can because I wasted another can on top of it, but it's the exalter. Prima Solid Spectro Silla, the 5450.
one coat of sealer on a couple of spots I had went back over it like right here it's still flashing off once it dries it's gonna be flat some of it I already done turned flat I had went back over this area here that's why it's still wet also this spot guess we mix up this base we should be able to get away with two coats
two coats of the jet black. My gun was spitting all over the place. But I finally got it laid down. You can see some areas like it's dry. Just one shooting right for some reason. But I'm gonna bear it with this clear coat. Shouldn't be no big problem. Let's mix this clear up. You ready to lay it down?
Finished up, no problems at all. Just a little orange peel, but you know you're gonna get that. You get that from the factory. Little orange peel and trash here now, but I will be flow coating. I'm gonna let this sit. Well, this three coats are clear. I'm gonna let this sit about two to three days. Then I sand it back down, flow coat it. Then I let it sit for about a week. And then I sand it down and cut and buff. So I'm still got a ways to go. But the biggest part is done. Spraying it. No runs at all. I think the body work turned out good as well. Let me step back, see if I can show it to you. Black look good, but it's hard to keep it up. It show up everything. I never liked the black car. I don't think I ever owned one either. But y'all stay tuned. Where well, I said it when I run, I just see one right here. Mm, I don't know if you're seeing it right here. Came out of nowhere, y'all. But it's all good. I want y'all to stay tuned for the flow coat and other vids and other vids after this here.
Stop.